According to the National Alliance of Mental Health, one in four people with a serious mental illness has been arrested at some point in their life. One team in Newport News is hoping to change that by intervening before the cuffs come out. News 3 reporter Ellen Ice has the story. When first responders go to a call of a mental health crisis, here in Newport News, there's a specialized team that goes with them. It's called CARE, and they've responded to at least one call a day since they started in July of last year, showing there's a need for mental health help here on the peninsula. It happens daily, a call for a mental health crisis in Newport News. One team is looking to cut down on the number of times a person in behavioral distress might end up in handcuffs. The biggest goal of the program is to prevent the police presence. We want to try and remove that from the situation as safely as possible. Lieutenant Andre Dorsey is the coordinator of CARE, which stands for Community Assistance Response. When you look around your house and you have services that need to be done, you want to make sure that you contact the individuals that specialize in those services. The care unit, they specialize in mental health. The team, which includes a paramedic and a mental health professional, responds to nonviolent situations where someone may be having a mental health crisis. This unit is CARE 1. CARE 1 is the unit that they utilize to respond to patients out in the field. Dorsey says they're currently responding to calls seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. We want to make sure that the city continues to show the citizens that we do care about them and care about what's going on. The coordinator tells me the program has been so successful that they're looking to expand by adding more personnel and extending the hours that they respond. In Newport News, Ellen Ice, News 3.